I want to talk briefly about how save data works in this book because it could trip you up at some point. So let's create a simple layout here where we'll drop in a, the instrument and we'll have that point to my keyboard. And we'll put in an oscillator. Patch it all together. We can see that it's playing sine tones. Uh, now let's have it switch to sawtooth waves and play that. Cool. So now let's say we like this layout, we want to save it. So let's save it. Uh, let's quit. Reopen. And now we see that both the keyboard isn't hooked up and also the oscillator is set to a sine tone. So the reason this is because of the stuff that you see is sort of ephemeral data on the modules here, but they have sort of a hidden panel that shows their configuration settings. So to bring that up, we can either click the configure checkbox here or use a shortcut of hitting the C key to enter configure mode. So let's click on here and enter hit C and we can see this box pops up that has all of its saved data. So you can see the name of the module, uh, what its target is, it's targeting the oscillator, and a couple of other settings. So the interesting one here is the controller is set to nothing. So let's select, select the controller we wanted, which is a complete control. And then let's type the controller's name in here. So that's cool. And we'll hit apply. And let's also click the oscillator here. And instead of selecting uh, the waveform from this dropdown in the module, let's do it from the save data. Let's select the sawtooth, hit apply. We'll see that it updates right here to the sawtooth. Let's exit configure mode. Let's make sure it's working. Let's save again. Let's quit and reopen. And now you can see that it's saved with our MIDI controller and that we have a sawtooth waveform. Cool.